Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I did Lily Savory's seven day loose belly fat challenge and I wanted to share my results with you. At first when I saw loose belly fat in seven days, I was kind of like, really? But I thought it's only seven days and it's only a five minute workout. So what do I have to lose other than the belly fat, you know? So yeah, I'll share the before with you and then I'll walk you through the workout and my experience with it. I'll kind of share what I eat with you, but well, not like for the whole week, but <laughs> I'll share what I've kind of been eating with you and then I'll show you my after results and give you my thoughts. So yeah, if you're new, make sure that you subscribe. I do a lot of like reviews of fitness challenges and like, yeah, <laughs> I do a lot of review of fitness challenges. So if you are into this kind of thing, make sure you subscribe. Also, I'm trying to hit 3000 subscribers and we're so close and thank you guys so much for subscribing. I feel incredible. Oh my god! Wow! So thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, I don't know why I am so awkward today. Today. Okay, so let's get started. But before we do, don't forget to hit the like button. Okay, let's start. Oh guys, also follow me on Instagram because I've been working really hard on my pictures. Oh really? Okay, not really, but like... Yeah, follow me. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. So this is day one. Day one was particularly hard for me because I know it's only a five minute video and it should be easy, but I'm used to videos that have like breaks in between so this video doesn't have any break obviously because it's only five minutes like if there were breaks it would be like what a two minute workout so I understand why there are no breaks but I'm just not used to it and it was really hard for me so I kind of took my own breaks because yeah why are you the way that you are and then day two um it was weird because normally for workouts challenges like Day one is really hard for me, but then by day two, it gets a little bit easier because like my body is used to it. Yeah, that did not happen. <laughs> day two was still like pretty hard for me. I think I just struggle um, like to do the moves as fast as she does and then to keep the intensity throughout the whole like five minutes. That sounds kind of sad. Like you probably think I'm really like weak. Well, maybe I am, um, but that is okay. You good? No, you're not. You're not, baby, and it's okay. And then here is day three. Again, it, it didn't get easier, so... Yeah. As the days went on, I just realized that the challenge was not getting easier. Like, the workout just still felt hard. Like, even today when I did it, it was hard. But did you die? Day six. And here is day seven. I must have just not built any core strength throughout the workout because. It just never got easier <laughs> but it does feel like an effective workout because it is really hard and you're doing it and yes i know it's only five minutes but it's a hard five minutes okay sure and then of course i want to show you guys what i eat in a day because you guys always ask like did you go on a diet like what did you eat so this is kind of what i ate this week um i'm still trying out this whole like intuitive eating thing i used to count calories which work really well for me i was able to lose like the last five pounds that i wanted to lose and i got down to like about 120 but then i gained like three pounds because so i ate a lot last weekend and like the week before that because my mom was in town and she made a lot of food <laughs> a lot of good food but i was hoping i would be able to lose the three pounds which is why i started this workout but i've been hearing a lot about intuitive eating and how it's like really good for you and it also just seems like a lot more simple than counting calories. Counting calories is like kind of a lot of work and it can sometimes like drive me crazy. So that's why I've been trying it out. I don't really know how I feel about it yet. I think I'm gonna give it like another week 
and then if I don't like see the results I like or if I gain weight or whatever then I might have to go back to counting calories which I don't want to do because like I said it's a lot of work it, like eating intuitively is so simple you literally just listen to your body and that's all you do you learn you don't have to do math you know so yeah but this is what I've been eating I haven't really been eating super healthy I've been eating things like fried rice a lot because it's just super easy and I don't know it tastes really good and I've been getting lattes I've also been eating out um, not a lot but definitely more in quarantine I didn't go out at all and then I think in August I went out once for my birthday but recently I went to get like Korean barbecue and I think tonight I might go get sushi like later today so I've been eating out more I've been drinking like hella lattes because Starbucks has this honey oat milk latte that is so good I'm telling you get it blonde and then get it ice no ice stop it get some help it's so good I got my mom one and she's like fully addicted to it now so you're, you're welcome. welcome okay and then here are my after results I feel like my belly didn't change all that much I guess I wasn't really expecting like crazy results or anything because I was kind of skeptical with the whole like uh, the whole like seven days and it's only five minutes a day I didn't feel like it would give me crazy results but also because I wasn't counting calories I feel like that's why I didn't expect crazy results because I know that your diet is like 80 to 90 percent of the results that you see physically and exercise really can only do like 10 to 20 percent of the work for you so because I didn't count calories and I didn't like restrict my diet I just didn't expect crazy results and what I really like about Lily is that in her video description there's actually a disclaimer and she literally wrote you can't spot reduce like if you want to lose fat you basically have to lose weight and fat over your body I'm summarizing like this isn't verbatim but that's essentially along the lines of what she wrote and she also wrote something like you have to couple this with like a sensible diet or like a healthy diet if you want to see results and that just that makes perfect sense I think sometimes we can get caught up in like the title and the thumbnails of these YouTube videos but you have to understand YouTube the YouTube game that's just like what people have to do to get views catchy things like lose belly fat in seven days those are the kind of things that get views you can't just like do this five minute video eat pizza every day like and then expect to lose weight expect to lose belly fat it's just not how it works I didn't notice a huge difference I feel like it looks almost the same <laughs> um, but yeah I, I didn't feel like I lost a lot of weight or a lot of fat this week again maybe this whole intuitive eating thing is not for me maybe it's not going to give me any results that I want but I am trying to be healthier not physically but mentally I think counting calories is not good for me especially because I do tend to binge eat and stuff on the weekend if I count calories and I'm super restrictive but the reason I do it is because I get really good results from it like if I count calories if I'm really restrictive I lose a shit ton of weight throughout the week and it makes me feel great but then I binge on the weekend and then I feel gross so what I mean when I say I'm trying to be healthier mentally is I'm trying to embrace this whole intuitive eating thing and I'm trying to make it work, okay? Designers, make it work! You guys, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I only ended up losing two pounds, which is honestly not bad. It's kind of better than I expected because I didn't think I was going to lose weight from the way I was kind of eating and not counting calories, blah, blah, blah. So I'm pretty happy that I lost two pounds. Of course, I would be happier if the results were more like crazy, but... I just want to be positive and you know be grateful and appreciative of the good things so yes we're gonna be positive and look on the bright side and just be glad that we lost weight at all <laughs> alright guys that was it for today's little video I hope you liked it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and follow me on Instagram and yeah I'll see you next time bye